Hello. Today I'll be showing my graduate diploma in art and design portfolio that I made during my studies at RCA. This is back in 2020 that I did the graduate diploma. And this is the front page of my portfolio. I'll talk more about this piece later on. So my mother was born in Taipei, Taiwan. She's always cooked healthy food for her family. And every evening we ate dinner together. With menu, I responded to group C's manifesto titled C is for Create by creating in edible food miniatures to showcase my cultural upcoming upbringing, sorry, and simultaneously highlight the lack of food security in Virginia's most affluent cities where attending university, Charlottesville. Um, so the manifesto project was something that we did early on during our graduate diploma. And I actually have the manifesto written out on my blog. Um, I'm thinking of doing another video just going through the visual journal that I made for our daily blog that we had to create during the program. Um, so these are some miniature clay models that I made. Um, the most of which I made were like mini dumplings. And so my mom taught me how to make homemade dumplings. So that's probably the thing that I feel most comfortable making. So I wanted to make it into a sort of three-dimensional model. Um, so here's a close-up of one of the dumpling models and then some pictures that were part of my research. So Yuni Yoshida was an artist that I did a contemporary art study on during the program, how to write like a critical analysis on her. And then there's another picture that I saw on wayfair.com that I thought was really interesting and quirky. And then also um, there was a piece from Jessalyn K.R. Carr um, with the stone. So it, she inspired me to create my own like pizza version of what she did. And then, so these are some more close ups of my miniatures. I also did a illustration of Chick-fil-A sandwich, which I really missed a lot when I was in the UK. Um, and I also set up like a fork and knife and like teacup, Asian teacup. Um, it was interesting because one of my RC tutors was like, oh, it's so unique that interesting that you put the fork and the knife in the way that you did, which is not like how it's traditionally seen, but I didn't even think about that when I put them down at first. Um, and then this is another piece that I did. Um, so I took my childhood desk and I tried to redecorate it, um, painting acrylic paint on top of it. And then, um, yeah, I took this photo and I had painted a koi fish pond on the surface of the desk. And I haven't quite finished painting this and I really would like to continue painting it um, because it is a visualization of a narrative that I'm trying to work on um sort of based on the well inspired by pilgrim's progress but trying trying to do a more modern version of pilgrim's progress and yeah so this is some images from like a short film that i had started working on which i still need to finish um, so desk includes a miniature model depicting my own conflict of visions, yet mutual appreciation for books and philosophical dialogue. To accompany my figurines, I made miniature versions of books I've enjoyed reading or creating myself. Um, so this is a sculpture of, um, depicts the elephant man, which is another narrative that I had made. It's really nice like going back and looking at these because I feel like I'm just reminding myself these projects that I started and didn't finish. So I definitely need to work on these again. Um, but yeah, it's the elephant man. So you can see that there's a little figurine at the bottom in the water that um, originally his feet weren't broken off like that, but they got broken off. And I kind of like how that looks. And then another figurine at the top, which is called the elephant man, who is trying to help the figure that has fallen into the river. 
I also made some patterns during one of our workshops we had to do um, like patterning. So I took a picture of some bark and then I did repetitions of it. Um, and I created this like album cover, 1997, the year that I was born. And I used a dog from a Monopoly set and a starfish from this like candle thing from um, my dad's work. And then I used a hair tie and tied it around all of them, including a rock. And then also like a miniature sailboat out of paper I made. All right, so this is from the front cover of the portfolio. Basically took like a um, painting palette and I painted over it completely. And then I made it into a mask. Um, so it's supposed to like invoke sleepwalking or dreaming. And it was part of my investigate project. And it has like a sur surrealist feel um, with presidents like Salvador Dali and Frida Kahlo. So it's a self-portrait of me like sleeping and then like dreaming. So next project that I worked on were these miniature chairs and like couches. Um, it was part of our like realized project. And then I just did several renditions. Here's some more close-ups from that project. So stage two of the graduate diploma enabled me to realize the endless possibilities of creating furniture. I got to explore scalability and texture as well as light and color. I realized that chairs can be utilized not just for functionality in terms of seating, but also for aesthetic purposes, adding vibrance to a living space. Chairs and other furniture pieces like couches can be converted and distorted to become statues, even that tell a story, even that tell a story. And finally, some more pictures, um, kind of seeing the scale of how small the couches and chairs that I made in comparison to a normal sized couch. And this is one of my favorite pieces that I made during the graduate diploma and I hung it up on a tree. And it is a painting that is painted around a photograph of me as a kid um, where I'm about to catch a water balloon. And you can just see some of the references that I used throughout my research and projects. So this is my graduate diploma um, in a nutshell. Hopefully in a, net, in a future video, I'm going to be able to show more in depth of my process and answer any questions that you may have. Thanks for watching.